So I had a chat with AI and I asked AI what the best makeup is according to it, according to AI. I had a conversation with ChatGPT and I wanted to share with you guys like what ChatGPT said the best makeup is and give you my honest thoughts and opinions on the makeup that ChatGPT suggested to me. Because actually a lot of these I have tried. So I wanted to give you my final, my thoughts, my unfiltered opinions on what ChatGPT says is some of the best makeup out there. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to today's video. If you're new here, my name is Stacy. I feature unfiltered makeup opinions, honest reviews, tutorials, I also have the unfiltered opinions playlist and today we're talking to chat GPT because I wanted to talk to her. I wanted to know what the best makeup is according to AI. I asked, I asked chat GPT, what's the best makeup ever released? And here is her response. Her is chat GPT a girl or a guy? I'm going to say a girl. We're going to just say her. This is what chat GPT had to say. Determining the best makeup ever released is subject and can vary greatly depending on individual preferences, skin type, and desired outcomes. Additionally, the beauty industry is constantly evolving with new products being introduced regularly, making it challenging to pinpoint the best makeup item. That said, there are several iconic makeup products that have garnered widespread acclaim and have been staples in many beauty routines. Some of these include... Number one, the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation. According to ChatGPT, the Double Wear Stay in Place Foundation is known for long lasting, long wearing formula. It has a wide range of shades and the foundation is beloved by many for its ability to provide full coverage while still looking natural. So I actually have the Double Wear Stay in Place foundation and this is in the shade 1N0 porcelain so it is a porcelain shade but it's on the neutral side so it definitely works for me. I have tried this foundation actually quite a few times. It does not come with a pump just so you guys know like if you do purchase this there are actually pumps that you can buy on several places that match the double wear foundation bottle. This according to chat GPT is one of the best makeup foundations out there because it's received a lot of uh, acclaim from beauty gurus across the internet. I don't think that that's true. I don't think that the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation really is like one of the best foundations out there. I think it is a really beautiful medium coverage satin finish foundation, but I've actually found some foundations that are better than this at a drugstore price. So the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Foundation actually retails, I want to say, for like 40 something dollars. Editing Stacy will have to put that in for you guys so that we know exactly what it is. But if I remember correctly, this comes at a really hefty price tag. It does come with a number of shades, though, which is really nice. So it comes with some really light tones, medium tones, and some dark tones. And it is known for that. It is known for being lightweight feeling. It's known for being satiny finishing. And it's also known for being full coverage. However, when I have used it, it's been more of like a medium full coverage so you can still see like my beauty spots show through. It does not cover my freckles the way that a full coverage foundation should or would. I think that it has a really great longevity. I've actually heard that this is a great like wedding day makeup foundation because it is very long lasting, very long wearing, and it doesn't dry down. It doesn't cake on the face which I have found that to be true. But I don't think that it's the best foundation out there. I think it's received a lot of acclaim, but I don't think it's like 100% the best foundation out there. I would have to say there are dupes that are just as good as the, there are dupes that are just as good as this foundation, if not better, that are at a very very minimal price tag compared to this foundation. So, if you guys haven't seen, I actually have a dupes series and what I do is I go through and I split my face in half and I test out different makeup products that I feel could be dupes for one another and I did a comparison of the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place with the Makeup Revolution Super Matte 2-in-1 Foundation and concealer and I found that this is literally exactly the same type of formulation as the Estee Lauder Double Wear. 
This has a satin dry down finish, but this one is actually full coverage. It wears all day. It doesn't look cakey on the face. It's very smooth. It doesn't settle into your fine lines, your pores, or your wrinkles. And the kicker is it retails for $5. Literally, like, yeah, the packaging looks the same, and that's honestly what made me think of the Estee Lauder Double Wear, but I actually put it to the test, and I will link that video for you guys in the eye if you want to see it. I put these two to the test, and they are literally very, very, very similarly formulated. So if you guys think that the Estee Lauder is one of the best foundations out there, and you haven't tried the Super Matte 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer from Makeup Revolution, this is available at Walmart. You definitely need to try it. It's a $5 solution to this very high-end foundation. Okay, the next one that... ChatGPT chose was the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. It is renowned for its buildable coverage and creamy texture. It's a concealer that effectively covers imperfections, brightens the under eyes, and blends seamlessly into the skin. Now, I have personally not tried the NARS Super Creamy Concealer. I've heard some really good reviews on it that it's like very creamy, very full coverage, and it's actually really easy to work with on the skin. But I have tried the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I've actually heard that this is quite possibly a dupe for the NARS Creamy Concealer. So I'm kind of curious. I have seen some beauty gurus who have compared the NARS Creamy Concealer to the IRL Concealer from Makeup Revolution as well, and they said that that's really similar. I have not tried the NARS Creamy Concealer, so if you guys know of a dupe or something better, leave me a comment down below. Can I really say that it's like the best concealer out there or that I can compare it to something? I mean, I haven't tried it, so I can't say that it's bad, but I also can't say that it's the best out there. But I would have to say my favorite concealer that I have, 100% all-time favorite concealer that is very serum-like. It doesn't over like texturize my under eyes and it provides a really good full coverage without it being like cakey on my face. And honestly, my favorite concealer would have to be the Tower 28 Serum Concealer. Like this I think is a really good concealer. It's one of the best ones I have tried and I'm currently like completely obsessed with because it's such a good creamy formulation, very lightweight. It has a very thin consistency, but it covers so nicely. And if you're somebody who is in your 30s, like this is such a good concealer. Honestly, one of the best concealers that I have tried, but from the drugstore, definitely check out the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm actually wearing it today and it just sheared out so nicely on my under eyes and it got rid of like, it blurred my under eyes so nicely today. I was pleasantly just like taken aback by how good this is. And I mean, I've used it before, but I absolutely love that concealer as well. I think it's such a great concealer. Okay, so number three, it says that the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz says it's a cult favorite Eyebrow Pencil. The Brow Wiz features a fine tip that allows precise application, creating a natural looking brow with ease. I have heard of the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have never tried it, but I have tried some really good eyebrow pencils in my day, and I would have to say some ones that have actually been compared to Anastasia as like a dupe. Makeup Revolution makes a really, really good one but I have not tried the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Actually, as of late, the whole trend with brows isn't even brow pencils in general. It's like a clear brow gel through the hairs and then you're good to go. And that's been the trend lately. So chat GPT, I don't know if I can agree with you on that one either. I really don't because there's some really good brow product out there. I know that the Brow Wiz is what made Anastasia who Anastasia is. So it makes sense that chat GPT would actually like talk about that. She picked... Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lipstick. This kind of wasn't a shock, but I also know that it picked this one because the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk is like viral. Like everybody wants the Pillow Talk shade in the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Like I wanted to try it so bad that I actually got a duo of the lip liner and like a small sample size of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. This is my teeny tiny little mini of the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. It's pretty much just like your basic run-of-the-mill mauve pink shade. I have actually found some really similar drugstore shades to this, but the reason why it's so popular is because it is that like mauve perfect, like pinkish mauve shade. They call it Pillow Talk. And I can understand where ChatGPT gets that from. 
According to ChatGPT, it's a universally flattering nude lipstick that has achieved iconic status for its creamy formula, flattering hue, and luxurious packaging. I do have to say, even in like the, the mini size, like the packaging is actually really good. It's actually like metal. This reminds me of some of those higher end lipsticks that my mom used to get from like SD Louder back in the day, like the 90s. And I do have to say like the shade is really pretty. It is very flattering on me. This is actually the shade of my natural lips and it actually looks very flattering on somebody who has a lip shade very, very similar to it. It is a really flattering shade. It's very creamy. It goes on really nicely. It is a matte formula, but I'm here to tell you there's actually a dupe for that. And it's in the shade Bear It All of the Mega Last Lipstick from Wet n Wild. And actually the formulations are so incredibly similar. Like you can't even tell the difference between the two swatches on here. But I can understand where ChatGPT is coming from when it says that this is like one of the best lipsticks out there because it is very well acclaimed. It has a really great formula and the packaging is very luxe, but the price tag is really, really steep. I do, I do really like my Charlotte Tilbury lip, lipstick. I think it's really good. But if you're only looking for the shade and you don't want the, the packaging, but you want the longevity, you want the satin creamy feel, but the matte look, bear it all from Wet n Wild. So ChatGPT only pulled up five products. So this is the last product. And it pulled up the Urban Decay Naked Eyeshadow Palette, the original naked palette revolutionized neutral eyeshadow with its versatile range of shades, buttery smooth texture, and it made it a must have for makeup enthusiasts. Out of the archives of my makeup collection, we have the Urban Decay Naked Volume 1. There she is. This revolutionized makeup because it did actually have a very deep range of shades in here. It started at a like lighter shade, it went all the way to a darker shade, but it also offered like this like beautiful blue shade as well. And I can, I think I can agree with ChatGPT that this was just something that it made Urban Decay like stand out on the makeup market. And a lot of people started mimicking this type of layout in their eyeshadow palettes because not only does this have some neutral tones in here. It also has some warm tones and some cool tones in here, which made it ideal for literally anybody. And it offered all of these shades from light to dark. So you could literally come up with a million eyeshadow looks with one palette. Whereas before when the naked before the naked palette was released, there were not a lot of like makeup brands that were offering this variety of like shade ranges in an eyeshadow palette. So I definitely have to agree with Chat GPT on this one that this is like one of the OG old school makeup palettes. And honestly, it is it is very iconic. I it's just so iconic. Like the packaging was velvet. Like the inside was just so beautiful. It came with a brush. Like this, according to ChatGPT, is one of the best, best makeup releases of all time. So we saw so many different brands that were actually coming out with different renditions of this like color scheme where it actually offered like light to dark tones all in one eyeshadow palette. And I absolutely love this eyeshadow palette. I actually purchased this when it was discontinued. I'm kind of hoping that Urban Decay brings this one back because it receives such acclaim for how good it is. And it was just of great quality, very buttery, very easy to use. Even the shimmers weren't, the shimmers were pretty good too. Like this was actually one of their better, this was the best naked palette that they've ever released because it had such great quality. These are five of the iconic best makeup products that have been released over the years. Some of them I agree with, some of them I can't really give an opinion on, but I can give you like my thoughts on like my favorite, my favorite concealer thus far. And some of them I can disagree on because I've actually tried them and there's stuff that's better on the market. Thank you guys so much for watching and staying tuned to the end of this video. If you wanna see me chat with GPT, chat, if you guys wanna see me chat, with AI, with ChatGPT more, definitely leave me a comment down below, hit that like button, and please consider subscribing so I can see you in my next video. Bye!